Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the midpoint of hurricane season 2020. And things are very, very active right now. We are now in the process of watching Hurricane Sally rapidly intensify. How strong will it get? Well, for like four or five days, my guess is category two strong or category three, which would make it a major hurricane. And it looks like I hit the bullseye again with that one. And so uh, things are weird in 2020. As I mentioned, Jupiter just went direct two days ago. So nailing the exact path of where this would go is going to be more difficult than with Hurricane Laura for everybody. And so we have watched projections on this thing drift to the east, but some still have it heading at some point to the west. But right now, if you're anywhere from here to here, I would take major precaution because this thing is not projected to make landfall for at least 36 more hours. And so as a Houstonite, I don't use this term lightly, but this is looking and shaping up to be something like a Hurricane Harvey. And right now, projections have this thing bringing anywhere from 7 to 11 feet of storm surge and 20 inches of rain to the areas that will get maximum impacts. And I do believe they are underselling the totals on storm surge and definitely rain right now. But hopefully we'll get lucky and the storm will start moving faster. But I haven't gotten lucky at all in 2020, and so I don't know how your luck has been, but I wouldn't plan on the best-case scenario happening here. I would plan for a worst-case scenario. And Bermuda just got hit and literally threaded the needle, the eye of the needle, with Hurricane Category 2 Paulette. Okay, so the comic book Peachy represents uh 20 inches of rain the yellow represents 15 inches like i said i think they're underselling this but rain is the major major danger factor they're already seeing rapid waves in mississippi bringing some coastal flooding to the bay street louise mississippi with coastal flooding wrapping up well ahead of hurricane sally due to be persistent onshore flow Tomorrow conditions really deteriorate along the Mississippi-Alabama coastline. Remember, this thing continues to track to the east, so where it will make landfall at this point, I don't think anybody knows. Paulette made major landfall, literally almost swallowed Bermuda, and knocked out power to the entire island. So prayers out to them. Brady saying, hey, look at the feeder bands developing now on the southwest side of Sally. Quite impressive and dangerous kim wood noting um at 12 utc 55 knots tropical storm at 16 30 utc 80 knot hurricane and so if you kept up the same math with 15 knots every six and a half hours that would make it about 170 knot hurricane at landfall if it did take 36 hours but look, it is going to get real close and then slow down. So at this point, I definitely said expect major a major hurricane to come, whether it be Cat 3, Cat 4, Cat 5. This thing is going to bring some super duper absolute major rainfall totals. It's like a weird civil war between West Coast fires and Gulf and East Coast hurricanes. Who will win and be the most destructive natural disaster in 2020? And that doesn't even count purple earthquakes. Or whatever and i've been warning pretty much all year that the middle of september through october would just be like a natural disaster super duper cluster funk of doom so get ready party people it's pretty super duper crazy out there and it's only gonna get crazier so may god protect us all god bless everyone talk to y'all soon